Bureau of Farmers, they're the third largest in the United States. I started in 92. I was 26 years old. I was the youngest uh, agent in Alabama to start it out. It was absolutely the best training I ever had. And now I realize how good training was. They, they wouldn't even let me touch anything for nine months. Now in the state of Florida, you can get a license, get out, and start selling immediately. And that's a huge problem that we're having in the state of Florida. So, you know, I'm really thankful that I had that training. I also remember the first claim that I had. I look back on that, and uh, it was two years into my um, agency, and it was my friend's family's house that I had insured. And I got a call, they had a house fire. And mm -hmm. I, it was just like a commercial. I remember pulling up to the house, the fire truck was just leaving, you know, the sirens were off and everything, the house was smoldering, the, um, uh, the mom was sitting on the curb crying, his father was um, smoking a cigarette, pacing back and forth, and he was sitting on the sidewalk. They lost everything. And I remember how devastating it was, and I realized how, what impact it has when you have a claim like that and then responsibilities that I have as an agent. And immediately I was able to put them up in a hotel, give them temporary housing, give them some temporary money. They went straight to Walmart, bought <coughs> some necessities, and get it going. And so it really made an impact on how important insurance is when it comes to home or your auto insurance. <clears throat> when I was with farmers, I was a captive agent. A captive agent is like a state farm or all state agent. Basically, I'm telling them what to sell, what to sell, you know, the products I have, uh, you know, all these guidelines. I, I have um, strict guidelines and I only have that. When I moved back home to, um, to Florida, I realized <clears throat> that wasn't the way to go, and that you can't just have one company. And so um, I started Bayside, excuse me, in 2004. <clears throat> excuse me. By 2007, I only had 15 to 20 companies. You can pass out the first flyers, birthday girl. I really thought at this time that, that was a lot of uh, companies, but it wasn't. I, uh, 15 or 20 companies only had like five homeowner companies. Well, homeowner companies, they, I call them the flavor of the month. They come and go. One month, they'll write 33572 next month, they'll jack the rates up 50%. Next month, they won't do it at all. So it just wasn't enough companies. So I realized really quickly, even as an independent broker, that I had to do something else. So in 2011, I merged with We Insure Florida. I immediately grew to over 100 companies. That's how many companies we have. So going from 15 to over 100 was a huge change. It was a huge adjustment. Thank you very much. Um, I now can honestly say that I have the best selection of homeowners and autos in the South Shore area. There's nobody that has more homeowner companies than we do. When the ones that we get are admitted and have a good rate. That's the only ones we insure allows. The reason why um, it's important to have an admitted company is because if there was a catastrophic claim and a homeowner company goes under, it's backed by the state of Florida along with the reinsurance company. Um, a non-admitted claim, if it goes under, um, is not backed by the state of Florida and it's your fight to try to get the claim resolved. So that's really important to know what kind of companies you're dealing with. <clears throat> 